Hey everybody, I have a Commodore modem right here, and uh, well, I want to show you what was on the inside. I was, I picked it up, and this is an old 1200 baud model 1870 Commodore modem for the 64, but you could use it on pretty much any of the Commodores with a user port. Interesting thing, this doesn't use the 422. This is you. This uses the RS232. And sorry if there's any wind noise. This is also a video test of this camera, and uh, I'll more about that later. Well, I took it apart, and it was making a rattling noise. And I was like, "Oh, that can't be good," but it turned out not to be so bad. There's no screws holding this thing together. Okay, it's just stuck together, post and hole, and that's it. The way it ought to be. <laughs> and what was rattling around was this <laughs> piezo speaker right and here's the little foam that goes behind the piezo and you've got your chips and things over here let me just bring out the board because the whole board just lifts out of this little thing right lifts right out no screws okay this is the 1200 baud modem whoops set that there I'm never going to use it as a modem but I am going to use it for something. Now, let me show you. This is it. You get to flip the speaker out of the way. There's where you put your phone. And there's your chips. There's your board edge. I'm trying to... Uh... Okay. Pretty neat. Well, sorry it's fuzzy. Sorry about that. Okay. <clears throat> anyway, you got your standard modem stuff. And what's the best part about this is, since I will probably never ever use it as a modem to dial up on a phone line, I can use that blue connector and just tap off of it. And see, now when it's sitting in there, right, when it's sitting in there, there's a good amount of space right on top of it. I'm, this is, I'm not doing, okay, here we go. Let me see. Now when it's sitting in there, you got a pretty good amount of space. Ah, uh, so much for no scripting, right? <laughs> well, trust me, there's a good amount of space between the board components and this thing. So what I'm thinking about doing is it's called breaking out. Go to the pins here that are the that comprises RS232. Make it into a DB9 and put it right here. And this speaker. Well, I can put any speaker there. It can be tiny, and it can fit down here as far as I care, right? And that, that actually would be quite loud <laughs> because it's just so big, so much surface area. But interesting concept. Look at that. Totally thin. Very, very thin. Okay, well, that's the idea. Break out the 232. F I guess, sorry, I'm not staying in the frame break out the 232 from here just by soldering wires right maybe a switch to turn it on and off but that would only be one wire you know so switch on switch off break it out from here have a db9 coming out right there i think it's a pretty good idea or let's see based on what the board looks like i could have a db9 probably Let's see, comparing, comparing, because it sits right about like that, if it was installed in there. Oh, uh, wait. I can zoom again while I keep rolling. And I could probably, there's some empty space right here with the wires tucked away. Yep, fold that over. Put the DV9 like right here right in this space right there or just make another little breakout box just for it and have it sidecar okay well that's it just want to show you this neat little thing and well they could have done a better job on this you know first by having screws that would have been better but I guess screws cost too much <laughs> and you just set it back down set it back down and stick it back together and you have a complete modem again it didn't even latch shut see no snaps no snaps anywhere 
All right. Thanks a lot, guys. Over five minutes on the modem. <laughs> Thanks a lot. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.